viewers of this video and welcome back to the Redstone Innovation Channel. Today I went to Game Gear and I'm recording because I got a new computer and I can record videos on short render distance with some lag spikes better than before. Yeah, uh, it'll be significantly less laggy than the chest video. Oh yes. Hopefully, at least. Today we're bringing you guys um, something long awaited and frequently requested and this is an elevator although not a piston one as you guys would like this is a dispenser well I call it aqua aqua later save myself but so it's, it's based on a concept uh, presented by Etho um, I guess mentioned by Etho um, about a week or two ago and it's a concept that only when you lean against a block and jump in water, you accelerate and can jump one and a half blo blocks up. Unlike when you're just jumping in water. So, leaning against a block, you jump. You can jump onto a pressure plate. Uh, not a pressure plate, but a half slap. And just in water, you cannot. And that provides the source of acceleration in this elevator, and it brings you up to a speed of, what, five blocks per second? Yeah. So, just demonstration. It and might not work, because Moz is exploding stuff in the background, so... <laughs> oh, yes. Thank you, this. Cross your fingers. That's pretty reliable in multiplayer. Especially oh, if you, nice. especially if you have a good connection. Speaking of connection, uh, we do uh, recommend that uh, this design is best for single player. However, it do it will work for multiplayer as long as you have a connection speed of around four megabits per second and a low latency connection. That those will both definitely help. Um, of course, there's exceptions, but still, like it's good to have a fast connection to your server if you're gonna use this thing. Uh, on the other hand, uh, piston elevators are pretty much helpless on <laughs> on servers, so this does work fairly well compared to those. And it's more compact, more resource friendly, and yeah. Um. So, as you uh, as you saw, I pressed the button before going to uh, up the elevator. This is just to prevent uh, mobs from going in and turning it on and off, or when you fall uh, from when you go down uh, through the hole uh, and walk over the pressure plate, it doesn't start behind your back. And um, if you don't like it, you can get rid of it. It's this elevator is highly customizable. Um, and just show it. Although, yeah, we do recommend using that optional circuit because it is very handy, especially if um, uh, if you're getting out of the elevator, you miss it the first time, then uh, then it won't reactivate when you're getting out of it, which can get pretty annoying. Just trust me on that. <laughs> I think that's just about it for the intro. Oh right, make sure to watch the whole video for like kind of a how to on you like how to use this elevator because there is a technique to uh to do it. Um uh yeah, and so don't come complaining to us if it doesn't work for you. There is a bit of a technique to it. All right, so let's start the tutorial. Pick a place where you want to travel upwards. So this is where you want to go up and down, right? Let's make it a bit taller. Um <laughs> I think this is fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now place like sacks of blocks, columns of blocks, uh, diagonally from it on all four sides. Cut it out. So that's where you're going to be traveling up and down. Uh, I like to fill it uh, around with glass, just because. Oh, yeah. I forgot to show. Yeah. Those are the blocks you're going to be using. using. <laughs> Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Okay, it's gone. Um, that blue wool, by the way, it's, uh, you don't really have to use blue wool. It's just to represent the 
special timing so you can customize. Uh, what you're going to have is, so this is where you're going to be traveling, and now you place a row of dispensers, um, no, right there, uh, facing, uh, facing you. Uh, I like to fill the rest with glass just because it looks fancy. And also because you don't want water spilling all over your redstone builds. Yes, you don't want <laughs> water. And do. And this is all up to you. You can customize it however you want. When walking out of the elevator, it's best to have this uh, dispenser there, just there, and not covered with even a half slab, because you have a lower chance of landing onto it. Of actually getting out of this thing, <laughs> otherwise yeah. you just drop back to the bottom. So yeah. Uh, <laughs> now what you can do is you're gonna take a sign, put it right there. So there's something that will hold back the water. Yeah. And then a pressure plate uh, right below this sign. And that will also hold back the water. And activate this thing. Yeah. It's really hard to use the inventory in the snapshot. There. Put that block back and put water on top. Uh, cut out um, all the blocks underneath the uh, elevator. Under, under, underneath the elevator, except for these two on which the pressure plate and water block are. Then cut out uh, three. Um, three out from the back and one on off to the side. Uh, you can cut this optional just temporarily while you're doing it. Uh, now what you're gonna do is find this block with the pressure plate, put the rest on dot underneath with a sticky piston uh, on the side of the block. Uh, uh, <laughs> the block on top. Uh, and you can get your imaginary blue wool and put it right there. Uh, these timings are going to be customizable. The best is on three, and I'll explain why later. But you can the least uh, timing you can have is this one on two. You cannot have two repeaters on one. You can't I have, don't really, I don't really know why it ever wants to customize it. I like it the way it is. Yeah. Well, if you like, you can put it. Another repeater right there, and then for just never have two builds on one or one repeater on one. So, yeah. Next, what you're gonna do is place another secret person with another block on top. Repeater on three, block in front, rest on top and to the side. Leave the rest on like this. Block here, and here you're gonna place three. There. Three repeaters on three. I don't know if you said. Block in front, rest on top. From it's gonna power this block. From this, you can place a repeater on two, and the block in front, and rest on right there. Now, uh, would, if you would like your button, the optional mob proofing button, yeah. um, then you're gonna get the button. This right there, right there. Uh, behind it, place it. Uh, place a <laughs> torch. <laughs> Don't do that. Uh, place a block underneath with the rest of on top. Then repeat it on. I always forget to use. Keep my wall. Put another block of imaginary glue right there. And put a repeat on four. And that is the timing between uh, the button. Uh, when you press the button and when it allows you to step on the pressure plate. Uh, thing to know is uh, subtract this timing from this timing. So this is on three, this is on four. Get one tick. Um, when that's it, generally that's generally the best way to do it. Yeah, it's well, this is highly recommended timings <laughs> for highest success rate. Yeah. Now. Uh, what you have left is wiring all the dispensers. Filling oh, all right. the dispensers. Oh right, yeah, that part too. Water. <laughs> uh, this inventory is just killing me. Uh, oh, I'm gonna have 
two SDC, STD, the rest. I did the top three, but then I did the rest. Um, really nice. um, saying that you did all of it, unlike me, get your half slabs and repeaters ready. <laughs> and redstone. Oh, God, redstone. Redstone is very challenge, man. Um, you're going to place... Now it's going to be all sequential, so the higher you build the elevator, the... The tileable, I think you mean. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, what you're going to do is build two blocks and lead with... What the Come heck? on, Moz! <laughs> what the heck was that? So screw you. <laughs> um, that's Moz. He's such a Moz. Anyways. Uh, what you're gonna do is put two blocks right here and leave redstone so it points into this block, uh, going into this dispenser so it fires first. Next, you're gonna do is put uh, an upside down half slab, uh, put a repeater on top, and then put a repeater on top, and it's gonna be on two. Uh, in front, you're gonna have another half slab, and diagonal from that half slab, you can have uh, a block with the redstone on top. I'm going to mirror this on the other side. There's another repeater. Uh, an upside down half slab with this on top. Log diagonal with this on top. Read it again. And this is. Um, this is where you just do the same thing over and over until you get to the very top. Uh, except that you don't have to have this a half slab um, from the second one. So if you really like being resource friendly, Go ahead, use half slabs, but I don't care, I'm in period. So, what the heck. So, the rest is gonna be done by CS almost. Oh, sure, well, I guess. Well, there's nothing else to build, so. Well, mention the uh, torches in mob spawning. Oh, yeah. I like using these blocks uh, for placing. Torches. You can you can do the side ones too, but so you don't have any spawn uh, mob spawning in your wiring. Uh, you can just place torches all along here, and once this box get placed, fine. I guess it does. <laughs> now keep in mind if your if your elevator ends one block higher, then what you're gonna do is this. You're gonna leave the next repeater going over on two, do a half slab, and then block that off there. Make sure to do that. But that's only if, because ours does not, so you just get rid of all that, and this is how you end it. Oh wait, I'm sorry. Lost the torch. Yeah. So if you have another dispenser right there, you can do it. I'm it. sorry we sound so bored, but we're just so tired. We recorded this like five times. <laughs> we are tired. But we did record it over the period of a few days. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, that's my birthday today. Happy birthday! Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> no, one's, no one's gonna tell him happy birthday. No one do that. I bet you. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> and then go ahead and try it out and well, actually am. now we need to show them how to use this thing which I'll be gladly explaining okay good. yes I'm do it in detail man do it. okay so first of all you are going to make sure that you have a mouse a keyboard and <laughs> really okay okay so right there we go um to use this thing what Really? <laughs> okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is basically keep in mind that after you press this button that you're just going to walk straight on in. Um, uh, don't hesitate at the pressure plate. You're just gonna walk straight on in and hold W and keep holding W and as soon as you hit that the first dispenser, the, the wall on this side, you're gonna hold the space bar. So you're just gonna walk seamlessly forward. As soon as you hit the wall, press the space bar. And that is probably the most effective way to uh, guarantee a high success rate of using this elevator. 
So uh, let's run through the steps again. First, press this button, then hold W uh, until you hit the wall. Press the space bar, and it should launch you straight up. Let's just demonstrate that right now. So hit the button, hit the wall, and it works. Ah, so this, ne? Um, so this. Sorry, all Japanese people. Yata des. Okay. Uh. Okay. <laughs> um. So if you hit the wall and jump and it goes ahead of you, come back into the wiring, find these. Well, it's not. It's not necessary that you do this. You might have just missed it once. It doesn't mean you have to go. Well, back yeah. Try, try ten times and then. <laughs> if it doesn't work for you, then increase increase uh, this by one or. Try and do that too. Oh, remember, remember in That's single usually play. It, it almost almost always works not good. So remember in single player it's gonna definitely be more reliable than on a server. Oh speaking of reliability, we are in 13W01B and it works in here. It works everywhere on any version of Minecraft. And there's Except no reason it shouldn't. Ever, ever since Half Slabs work the way they do. Right. So don't go back and just tell us. Ah, don't go it work. <laughs> don't go back into beta or uh this won't work on Xbox. Sorry Xbox players if you follow the tutorial. Since okay. Is that, is that it? I believe so. Alright, I hope that was shorter than ten minutes. <laughs> All right, this has been the Redstone Innovation Channel. We hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, we thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to check out our past stuff, rate, comment, subscribe, and all the good stuff. And we'll see you guys next time. See ya.